Another day, another layoff. It seems every single hour of every waking day I'm here, I'm seeing so-and-so company is laying their hard-earned work staff off. It makes me nervous for the gaming industry as a whole. I understand sometimes you have to cut costs. I'm not saying that. However, this is obviously repercussions from the COVID situation where they expended. But obviously, Microsoft, which was obviously named after the size and scalability of Bill Gates' penis, Microsoft, <coughs> has laid off 1,900 staff from their workforce. Uh, they obviously bought Activision for 69 billion, <coughs> which I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. And they have now actually let go of 1,900 people, which is kind of obviously a shame for them people. And they wrote a little memoir, not a memoir, sorry, a little note, and basically saying, we've bought all these businesses. We've realized there's too many people. Accounts can't keep up. So <coughs> some of you are getting the cut. So places like Blizzard, Zenimax, uh, companies like that, Activision, which is obviously Blizzard. They say they have 22,000 people on their team and they're getting rid of near basically 2,000 people. I wonder what type of people they're getting rid of. Uh, is it people who make the coffees or is it, you know, a few programmers, a few other people who maybe are not as important in terms of the development of video games? It's quite interesting. Obviously, they are the owners of Game Pass. They love their online digital market and that footprint. There's talks that they're going to cut down on physical games as well, which I think is ridiculous. Me, personally, you have to be able to buy it physically you can't then literally video game developers and publishers and xbox and playstation they control the actual game the physicalness they control everything about that the prices all that xbox is losing the war uh, don't get me wrong i think xbox has done really well these past few years in terms of realizing that shit we we didn't do this right how can we improve and make it better and they can improve and make it better by you know making a great game pass i get that but to let go of so many people after just purchasing it isn't a fantastic look for you i have to admit and phil obviously came out with some dog shit uh comment pretending that he gives a fuck in his you know hollywood mansion mansions i should say about these games don't get me wrong i think phil's actually quite a good guy but you know what i mean like he's treating it like he's uh <laughs> explaining the harsh decision of shutting down when you know he he's trying to make it an excuse like just own up to it say look we've realized there's a lot of uh dead wood here i i think that's probably what they've realized and i don't mean that rudely if that's your job i can only apologize apologize um it's hard it's a hard world out there but you know the world's hard, it's a hard, hard world. there's a lot of heart uh, in terms of business after covid after everything the world has sort of taken a bit of a, uh, a stumble hasn't it it's not quite worked out how we are planning on working we wanted things to work so they are now having to cut costs in order to make more money but uh, what thing that confuses me is how how can you be worth three trillion and then you know there's Fucking whatever, innit? So that's, they cut around 8% of its gaming division, which includes, obviously, Activision. The majority of employees are being cut from Activision, which is funny because it's a shame because Overwatch was one of my favourite games for a very long time, Overwatch 1, and they've just completely knackered it. They've completely ruined it, and now they have to cut costs and try and find ways to get round, making it a bit more profitable. They've obviously ruined it. I mean, it's dead in the water, isn't it? It's so sad to see. Overwatch was such a fantastic game that it actually hurt to know that that's what they've done to my beloved game. I wasn't going to play it as much as I was going to, but like, you know, I expected it to be good, man. So in just 25, with today's Activision Blizzard added, it's just 25 days of 2024. Try say that, totten hell. We're already at ha over halfway the total layoffs of 2023. So we're at 5,600 versus 10,500. Obviously just in the gaming industry. Fucking loads, you degenerate piece of so look, being a um, a video game maker and working in the video game industry is obviously very um, very unstable position to be in at the moment. All these businesses have let people go, people from Lion Games, uh, Slipgate, uh, New World Interactions, you know, I'm sure you've heard of more of them as well. But you know, they're getting rid of people, they're cutting costs, saving money. But look at this, not just lower people, Blizzard President Mike Ybarra has left, Chief Design Officer Alan Adam has left, previously announced survival game is cancelled. I think the real problem here, the the state of Blizzard and Activision. Activision is a dying, excuse me, sorry. Call of Duty is a dying industry. And by dying industry, I mean, actually last year it was outsold by Hogwarts Legacy for the first time ever. Now, that might not sound like it's dying to you, but I honestly don't really understand who buys these Call of Duty games anymore. Blizzard and Activision, whatever you want to fucking call them, are literally churning out the same stuff week after week, year after year. You know, there's been 
been a few Zenimac ones, but it's mainly these lot. They have not been a very good business in terms of the past few years. Call of Duty's been on a decline. They keep ruining the campaigns, what people want to play. They keep ruining the multiplayer. All they care about is Warzone and Milk and that. And no Call of Duty zombies for however long, or no good Call of Duty zombies for however long is a crime. It's genuinely a crime. And it really annoys me we're not seeing anything. Because they can't milk it. They can't squeeze that cow. That cow is dead on the floor. It's been resuscitated for about 10 years. And it's just been there. Lurking. Flies all over it. Melting and just dead. Dead, dead, dead. And they can't get enough of that emphatic milk juice coming from its udder. They just have to keep going and going until it can no longer breathe. Oh, the cow's passed out again. Better give it a resuscitation. <laughs> right, we'll get another year out of it at least. Oh, it's gone again. We'll get another year. In my opinion, the uh, repercussions of lazy game development. Activision Blizzard has not been very good. Let's be real. Overwatch 2 has been floundering. Call of Duty's been floundering. And what else do they do? I couldn't even tell you what else they do. You know, um, yeah, it's just sad to see i'm sorry if you've lost your job things out there on twitter and places like that you that are offering to take in people if all these businesses keep making cuts there's going to be people without jobs who have you know skilled workers in design and development and video games and they're not going to be able to find work because so many people are making cuts no one's hiring yeah it's um it's a shocking state of affairs i just hope things in the next sort of few months even out and sort themselves out and you know let, let's say maybe there was a lot of unnecessary positions at blizzard and xbox and but the, you know, the state of how their games have been the past few years is, is not a good sign of things to come, I feel. But yeah, I just wanted to cover this because it's sad, but it's been happening everywhere. More Blizzard, more cutoffs and layoffs. What do you guys think?